And as more Minnesotans get vaccinated, the state is starting to shut down testing sites. The state-run testing centers in Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Bloomington will close by the end of the week. WCCO's Jeff Wagner explains what these changes mean for Minnesota's fight against the virus. Trickling in every few minutes, people visited the Minneapolis Convention Center to get a COVID-19 test. Pretty quick and efficient. Offering their saliva samples with ease. This is my third or fourth time down here. The simplicity and familiarity of the process helped keep MDH's community testing sites busy from last fall through this spring. Early on, there were lines to get in. Um, they really encouraged making appointments. Recently, the tests were moved to a smaller room at the convention center, and it started closing on weekends. By this Saturday, it'll close for good, along with the testing at Creekside Community Center in Bloomington and Roy Wilkins Arena in St. Paul. MDH says progress with vaccinations, a drop in COVID cases, and fewer people needing these facilities led to the decision. I'm happy. I'm happy things are getting back to normal. Things are opening back up. We can come outside. But I am worried about the Delta variant. Um, and whether we need to continue sort of a regular testing regimen to make sure that that is not taking hold in Minnesota. Although this community site here in Bloomington is closing, MDH wants to emphasize you can still get a free COVID test at several area pharmacies like Walgreens or CVS, and usually you don't even have to set up an appointment. State vaccination sites have been shutting down as well. The location at the Minneapolis Convention Center and the state fairgrounds are no longer available. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News.